welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie Christine. Here on my channel, we do live makeup classes every Tuesday and Thursday. But before we get started with today's class, I want to introduce our lovely model. This is Chelsea and she's beautiful. We're so excited to have her. So when Chelsea came today, just looking at her color palette, I love her red hair. I love her fair skin and sort of like the warm hazel tones in her eyes. So I want to do a color palette inspired by that. So we're going to use the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette and we're going to do like a peaches and cream inspired look today. So it's going to be fun. We're going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. Um, I have started this video today with the eyebrows done already. So in a second, we'll show you the before. Um, okay, but we're gonna probably be mainly using this just peachy mattes palette. I love the tones and I don't wanna go too peach on her today. I want to incorporate some neutrals. Um, so I really like this palette. So we're gonna go ahead and start with um, this color. This is called Peaches and Cream. I'm gonna do this all over the lid and then we're gonna build into the crease color with these two right here. So I'm gonna start with a really big fluffy blending brush and just buff that all over the lid. And this palette actually smells like peaches. Yeah, Can you smell it? <laughs> it's delicious. It smells really good. I don't usually like makeup products with fragrances just because people can be sensitive or something like that, but I do like the scent of this. So this, looking at this color in the palette, it's fairly light, but I've noticed with this palette is they do sort of look a little bit darker when they're applied. And it also could be, I'm using concealer for my eyeshadow base, and sometimes the cream products will alter the eyeshadow a little bit depending on the brand. So that's just something to keep in mind. So I generally do like a lighter color than I'm initially wanting. Okay, so I'm just gonna buff that all over. We're gonna get right up into the eyes. Chelsea has really big, pretty eyes, so we can really play with our shadows today. So I used Heart Shape Tape Concealer to prime the lids, and then I set it with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, and we can actually, so you guys can see the brows since we did do those off counter off camera. I'll have Kelly flash Chelsea's before photo right now. Um, it was before we curled the hair really quick and before we did the brows. So you guys can see. Um, I did the blonde Anastasia brow pencil today and then the Auburn brow powder. Okay, so go ahead and open. So that is a really pretty wash of color. I like how that's looking. So I'm just gonna make sure both sides are even. Okay, and I am gonna pull up the live chat. I know some of you are already in there, welcome. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them. Say hello to our model. Hi. <laughs> Yay, everyone's excited. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in and kind of start to define the eye a little bit. Um, I am going to use a mix of these two. So this is peach tea. I'll turn around so you guys can see. Peach tea, fresh picked. So this one's going to pull definitely more warm. Like a lot of times when people have fair skin, they just sort of pull warmer. And <laughs> she's like, that's me. <laughs> um, they'll just pull the warm undertones. They're just more apparent on fair skin. So a lot of times, like if you're new to warmer colors and you have fair skin or your makeup artist working on someone with fair skin, I would err on the side of like more neutral if you don't want to go too warm or too bold, just because know that it will probably pull a little bit more warm. So I'm gonna go in with this little guy. We'll mix them. Get that right on the lid. And what I want to do for Chelsea today, I want to do like a matte sort of smoky eye. So I want pigment to be all over the lid essentially. I am going to define the crease a little bit, but I do want that color. So I was asking Chelsea before we started, like how often she wears makeup. And you were telling me like most days you kind of don't, right? right? Like you're pretty natural. Yeah. But she does like to like play with makeup sometimes. So if you have somewhere to go, yeah. you'll like do fun looks and stuff. Yeah. What is your favorite look that you've done? Oh, I don't even know. I loved what I did for 
Christmas last year. It sounds so far away. Um, but I did a bright red lip and my, my magnetic eyelashes and I did um, kind of like a golden smoky eye because like that's what I had. It was sparkly and fun and Christmassy. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. I <laughs> love gold eyes with red lips. I think it's so pretty. It was a lot. I almost did something like that on you when we were deciding what we wanted to do. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to do a holiday look because yeah. you would be so pretty with red lips. Yeah. But I decided it was like too early for YouTube to have so, <laughs> holiday tutorials. <laughs> yes and no. It wouldn't be if it was a normal year right. and people were having like holiday parties. But I think because that's like what I'll get ready yeah. for is like my husband's yeah. work party and stuff like that. But Less he, yeah, I think most... People go ahead and close. Companies aren't doing work parties yeah. and stuff like that this year. Just doesn't make sense. But I will see my family. Yeah. So we'll be doing like family parties yeah. and stuff like that. I want to know what you guys are doing that are watching. What are you guys doing for the holidays? Okay. So go ahead and open. So what I've done with that essentially is I've just added sort of the darker color in the crease and I definitely have been winging it out. I really like that lifted look um, and I've kept things lighter as we have gone inside the eye. Okay, um, that's looking really pretty. I'm going to go in with the darker browns in this palette. So we'll go into this one's called Peachy Tarts. So we'll go into that and then we'll just define around the eyes. Okay, go ahead and close. So I'm just going to buff it into the lash line. And wing it out a little bit. And I love doing a look with all matte shadows. I feel like they just blend together so well and you could just get this really, really pretty transition between all your shades. There's a possibility I'll add a little bit of shimmer on Chelsea's lid, but I really actually think this is so pretty. I might go, I think I'm going to do like dewy skin in a glossy lip and do like all of our glow on the face and keep the eyes matte. I think that will be really, really pretty. Okay, so go ahead and open for me. So to blend that a little bit more, I'm going to go a little darker on that eye, but I'm going to go back into my transition colors and blend that. And Chelsea has like a larger eye space, like she's really big, pretty princess <laughs> eyes is what I call them. So um, when you are you have an eye shape like that and you open the eyes, you can see a lot of the shadow that you've done. If you have more hooded eyes or something, it kind of all disappears. Go ahead and close. So you do have to make sure you're blended and very even with your two tones. I mean, you need to do that anyways, mm -hmm. but <laughs> especially I have heard when I do makeup lessons with people, I feel like um, my clients that have like the pretty eyes, the like big lid space, the perfect little crease, they actually have, I feel like a harder time doing their eye makeup. They're like, oh, I don't know how to do it because it's just so apparent when you do yeah. your eye makeup. It's like, oh, I did my eye makeup. I feel like with hooded eyes and stuff, you can just kind of throw it on and it's going to look the same. Yeah, you can always see what I do every time. It has to be good. There's a lot of landscape up there. <laughs> yes. No, I love it. But it's like everybody wants what they can't have, right? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like with people with hooded eyes, people are like, oh, I just want the big pretty eyes. And True. I love them. I love all eye shapes. But you sound artsy. I feel like you probably do a really good job on your eyeshadow. <laughs> I try. So I don't do it very often. Because it takes time. Yeah, it yeah. does. And it has to be blended well or else yeah. I'm just like, oh, I feel off. like it does. I feel like the curse of the bigger eyes, like, the blessing is you can do all yeah. the, all of the things, right? But the curse is, like, it takes, you can it see every sure mistake. takes more time. Yeah. Like, I feel like I could do no eyeshadow and just, like, if my lashes are thick enough, my eyes are going to look the same because <laughs> my eyes are headed. Okay, we're going to do brown matte eyeliner today. Okay. And I think I am going to go in all the water lane. I might go in the bottom water lane. I'm not sure and do like smoky. My chat disappeared. There it is. Okay. 
Hi, cute Angelique. You're so sweet. Always join us live. Um, okay, she says, my eyes or lids face are similar to hers. Um, and I never know if that's considered hooded or not. So her eyes are not hooded. So hooded to me, like what I've read and studied with makeup is like, see how when Chelsea's eyes are open, you can still see her entire lash line. That means she has like a crease, right? Um, go ahead and close for me. So hooded eyes, it just like, go ahead and open actually again. You just don't really see much of this crease. Like you can't, I don't know. I have, <laughs> I'm, I'm having a really hard time explaining it right now, but I have tutorials on my channel for now. I would say she doesn't have hooded eyes. A lot of people think they do when they have like a little bit of puffiness right here or something like that. You really do. I mean, it's just most people do. It's like eye skin, yeah. right? Like some people's eyes are really pulled like tight, but sometimes people have like just like a lift of right. skin right there and people think it's hooded, but it's not necessarily. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Yeah, I would assume that it was hooded. I watched all the hooded videos. Yeah. So I should not be doing that. But I will, no, I will say with like the hooded videos, like the, those tips work for everybody because it's just all about like lifting yeah. and opening the eye and I feel like we all That's want that yeah. yeah go ahead and look down for me like I feel like for you Chelsea you could do like you could do eyeshadow mm -hmm. tips for hooded eyes but your eyeliner would be different oh yeah than like eyeliner for hooded eyes because that part of your eyes for sure not hooded That's true. okay so I'm just going to go right in the waterline. Do you ever do this, Chelsea? Nope, because I have flinchy eyes. Oh, I yeah, you warned you me. me. You're totally not flinching. I trust you more than she, I trust <laughs> She warned me before we started. She's like, I have really flinchy eyes. Like, okay, we got this. It's totally <laughs> fine. Deep breaths. But you're doing great. Thanks. You're not that flinchy. We'll see when we... I'll give your eyes a break maybe okay. before the lashes. Okay. Okay, look at the brush for me and follow it over here. Yeah. Pretty. No, you're totally good. You're good. And you can blink as much as okay. you need to. But when Chelsea looks at the camera, see how this eye is like really defined, but you can't see the liner at all? That's tight lining. So that's what we're doing for her, especially this brown liner. So I'll hold my little stick up. Like it's like this very matte, deep brown. Okay, look down again. Good. I'm going to let you close so you can have a little break <laughs> with the liner. But on the stick, it looks pretty dark. But when you start to put it on the eyes, it's not that dark, so you can really go in there with it. Go ahead and open. But see how natural that looks? Like, there's nothing super intense about it. It's very, sharp. like, buffed. Natural. Yes, just natural. Okay. We're going to do tight lining on the other side. So go ahead and look down and kind of over that way. I'll start in this area. You're honestly doing great. If you wouldn't have told me you were flinchy, I would <laughs> have just like, ah. it. No, you're totally good. No, you can't mess me up. <laughs> Flinchy eyes reminds me of like, okay, go ahead and look this way. When I used to cut hair in the salon, everyone would always bring me their kids because I was like <laughs> so good. Like if they would move, I yeah. was like, I had like hyper reflexes. Yeah, I'm like, I move. got it. Like your kid can move okay. and I will give them a perfect haircut. Look yeah, no matter what. <laughs> like in hair school, I was like the yeah. one. They're like, "Oh, give Julie the kids." I'm like, oh, "Okay, I love the kids, but like." <laughs> okay, go ahead and close now. We'll give your little eyeballs a break, and we'll do the top line of liner. Okay. Okay. So I feel like on redheads. Um, these, this color palette is so pretty and so flattering. Um, I just really love like the tone. Hers is pretty. Chelsea's isn't like a really bold red. Do you do you say you're a redhead? Not usually. Not when usually. Ask, yeah. yeah. I it was strawberry blonde growing up, and it got darker as I got older. So it's like a red brown blonde. Yeah. It's yeah, there's no defined color. <laughs> Even when I dye it, it pulls red. Really? Because mm -hmm. you do, I feel like you definitely have like the red undertones, but like when you first meet Chelsea, it's not like, oh, she's a redhead. It's more like just a pretty like kind of golden brown, like light brown or yeah. dark blonde, yeah. I would say. But like when you start to do these tones in the makeup, your hair looks more red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and close. That's what's so fun about makeup. Like you're just creating any color palette you want. 
And it's totally not scary, like, dyeing your hair because the makeup washes off at night, right? Yes. Like, when you dye your hair, it's like, oh, well, should I go red? I'll off. have to keep, yeah. yeah. Keep it. The makeup is fun, and it does. Like, with hair like yours, where, it, like, it can look red or it can totally look, like, not even red at all. Like, your makeup will play a huge part, and it's really fun. Okay. I love the way that looks. I am going, let's go back into this palette. So they have a very dark brown in here and it doesn't really have a lot of warmth. It's like a very deep brown. So we're gonna take um, this flat brush and I'm gonna wiggle that right by her lash line just to deepen that up a little bit. Okay, go ahead and close for me. We'll let you close as much as <laughs> possible. As much as I can. How are you doing? Are your eyes, Good, do I'm they good. feel okay? They're fine. Okay. I would let you know. All right, sounds great. You're doing good. Thank you. And have you worn the fake lashes before, the false lashes? Not in a while. Like glue on ones, um, it's been a hot minute. But okay. the magnetic ones I did wear for the Christmas party. Go ahead and close. Oh yeah, that's what you're saying. Do you like the magnetic ones? Yes and no. I felt like they lasted a long time. Like they're not the eyeliner ones. They clip on and they sandwich over your lashes. And they stayed all night and that was good because we were dancing and partying and stuff. Um, but when I got home and I was like, this is a ridiculous, like, this is just too much. But I felt good the whole night, so that was good. Aw, that's fun. Yeah, those are the only ones I've tried. The sa a sandwich is a good mm -hmm. way to describe them. Okay, yeah. I would like to do brown lashes on Chelsea today. I think that will be so stunning. Um, and I pulled two. So I pulled the Demi Wispies and the Wispies. Um, because Chelsea has like a nice eye space, I don't want to go like too overroad at the lashes. So I think I'm going to do the dimmies. They're insanely natural. But then I also pulled some brown, uh, like pre-individuals or clusters, whatever you want to call them. So I'll probably add those too. How are your eyes doing? Do you need a little break no, or two? Okay. okay. We'll do the lashes right now. Awesome. So first I'm going to curl you. Okay. So I'm going to have you kind of look forward, down a little bit. Perfect. Stay right there. Does that pinch at all? Nope, you're good. Okay. I'll come in with the... This is weird if you don't like people coming at your eyes. You're good. Weirdly, I can curl my eyelashes. I think it's just eyeliner that gets That's me weird. Yeah. yeah. Curl this little side over here. You have, like, crazy thick lashes, but they totally grow, like, down. Yeah, they do. They're, like... Yeah. Have you ever gotten a lash perm? Have you I heard of that? No, I've heard of it and I wanted to. I feel like I you'd haven't. be perfect because your own lashes are very thick and they're quite long. Okay, so we're going to pull these out. So the Demi Wispies, they're not as long as a lot of lashes and so you generally don't need to trim them. We'll do clear glue today. If anyone has flinchy eyes, I for sure do clear glue. Yes. And honestly, for the when I do like a brown look, I do the clear glue. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the duo glue. I like that it just already comes with a little brush. Or no, not the duo, the callus. I like duo too. Okay, so we'll just let this dry. A good amount on a little fan because they're bougie. Yeah. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Let it dry. Okay, I see another comment. Hi, Brittany. Okay, she says, brown lashes. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I know they're so pretty. The brown lashes are so stunning. They're really good for like a natural look. But we're still a little, we're not quite dry yet. <laughs> That's like the worst when you're <laughs> the lash glue, I feel like it takes forever to try. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why the magnetic ones are nice. Yeah, right? You don't have to like mess with the glue. You don't have to wait for anything. Okay, we're gonna go for it. So go ahead and look kind of down. Yeah, but don't you can blink but don't close. Okay. So I like, especially because Chelsea's lashes grow downwards. I want to make sure that I am applying these so they have a little bit of a lift. Okay, go ahead and look forward. See how pretty those are? Like the brown lashes are magic on the face because they don't look like you're wearing anything. They're super natural. They're so pretty. 
and I'm still going to put mascara on them. So I have brown mascara. I'll probably do that. Can but you can, now, right? I've yes, yes. You can blink. You're like, I'm holding my eyes open. No, you can totally blink. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll get this one on. But the Demi Wispies, like, see how natural they are? They're, they're still longer. They feel very light. Yes, they're very light. These are what I tell people to start with if they want to wear, like, a day lash and have it be natural. They're very pretty. But I think we will for sure add some extra little lashes, because why not? Okay, so um, after we do this, I'm going to do her foundation, and we'll come back to the eyes. I mixed a ton of different <laughs> shades for her, um, but we did NARS today, so Kali can pop up a PNG for you guys. So we did the NARS foundation. Um, I just, I have found that with bare tones, I don't carry every color from NARS. I think I have like 15 shades, 10 shades. I have like all the lightest and the darkest and some mediums and stuff. So, but they're pretty good with their shade range. I think if I had every color, I would have one bottle and match her, but because I don't, I like to kind of blend to get the undertone that I like. And I've said this before in videos, like with fair skin, I just feel like you really need to nail your, um, your undertone and your foundation. Cause a lot of times people, so a lot of times people will go to pink. I feel like with fair skin, because when you're fair, you can see a lot of like the redness in your face, but it's not necessarily there on the chest or the arms. Um, so I think when people match their foundation, they're like, Oh, I'm totally pink. I'm going to grab a pink <laughs> bottle, but Okay, open for me. Good. Okay. All right. So, we have mixed enough because I don't think sometimes I'll like mix foundation for people, and if I run out, I'm like, oh shoot, I have to like mix that exactly again. All my <laughs> shades. <laughs> it's fun though. I actually like mixing foundations. I went to a makeup class once, and they just only gave us like a red, a yellow, and a blue, like, foundation mm -hmm. pigment. And they're like, okay, like, do your go match yourself. Like, make foundation for, like, your neighbor. And it was so fun. That's awesome. It's like science. Yeah, <laughs> it's just color theory. And it was a matte class. Mac used to have, like, some fun makeup classes sometimes. That's cool. So what... So do you like to buy makeup? Like, even though you don't do it a ton, it sounds like you think it's fun and stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. So how often do you, like, what is exciting to you? Are you like, oh, a new eyeshadow palette or just anything? Well, <laughs> an eyeshadow palette would be so exciting. And then I think, oh, I already have enough at home. And I try to, like, stop myself from buying too much. But lipsticks are a big problem for me. I like okay. to buy lipsticks. Um, and I'm like Kelly. I do like blush. <laughs> I'm a blush girl. I love blush. And I keep trying different mascaras and finding my favorite. And I couldn't, ju I could just stick with it, but I like to try all the things. What's your favorite foundation or um, mascara? I like um, it's Red Aspen. They have, I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, Pump it up, Maggie, and it feels it like helps it stay curled throughout oh, the day, which I like. Oh, that's perfect yeah. for you. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's the dream. And what lipstick brand do you like? Oh, all of them. I was doing Lip Sense for a while, and those ones stayed on nicely. Um, and then ColourPop came out with really cool colors for one of the YouTubers that I follow. Oh, and nice. I was like, well, I have to get that. And they're just like crazy, fun, bold colors, and I like them. And then I think that's what I do for lipstick. That's so fun. ColourPop has a really good color palette. They have mm -hmm. good shapes. Yeah. Do you like their liquid lips or do they have lipstick? It's the stick that I have. I haven't tried their liquid lips. That's fun. I probably won't do a crazy lip color on you That's today. Okay. I think I'm going to do like a, a pretty brownie pink. Thing. Yes. I like that. It's fun though. Yeah. So I have to like play, but when I go outside and like out to things, usually I'm <laughs> you pretty normal be. looking. That's funny. She was telling me, though, that you wore, like, a blue lipstick I the did. other day. I was feeling it. So is it I... ColourPop? It was, yeah. That's so fun. I love that you play. That's yeah. awesome. 
My kids thought it was crazy, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> they probably thought it was awesome. I forgot I had it on, so my husband came home. He's like, "Nice lips." And I'm like, "You're oh, like, thanks. oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> forgot, right?" <laughs> okay, we're gonna do just a little bit of contouring on the forehead. So I'm going to first grab a deeper foundation. So this is this is medium 1.2. Like so the color my mom uses. This one? Yeah, my mom's tanner than I am. Really? Yeah. So we'll mix that one in, in hers. Is your dad fair? Yeah. <laughs> he is. I should I mean, both my parents are fair, but my mom is darker than I am. She is? Yeah. I can't usually steal her foundation. So. <laughs> it doesn't go from person no, to person. Okay. Nope. It's so nice though when like a family member or friend is your Bye, shade because you're like, oh, I haven't tried that brand. Like, let me try it. I think I'm the fairest in my family. My sister is tanner than me and she's a redhead, <laughs> but she's like a runner. Yeah. And so she's oh, always yeah, out in the sun. sun. Yeah. That's cool. And I'm like, you need to wear your sunscreen again. <laughs> and she doesn't, she likes to be tan. So she does not. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just going to finish bronzing. I was going to do a cream, but I don't have a cream. I don't have my fair skin one out, so I'm going to just bronze with contour in a second. Just make sure that's blended. Okay, and then we'll get on our, um, our lighter color. This is NARS. I'm going to do vanilla under the eyes. This is the shade name. And this is the Creamy Radiance Concealer. So I'm just going to go under the eye area with this just to brighten it up. So this is going to be lighter than the foundation we did, but I do want to give like a highlighting effect. Chelsea has really pretty cheekbones, so I want to play those up for <laughs> sure. And she has great skin. I was telling her, I'm like, you have no pores. You have fantastic <laughs> skin. Are you into skincare products and I stuff am. like that? I love washing my face. You do? <laughs> it's so weird. Yes, I do. Oh, that's good. Do you have a skincare fridge? I don't. Are you that? I'm like, are you that into skincare? <laughs> I feel I like that's one, the new thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like looking at my bathroom the other day because my esthetician is <laughs> like, you need to get a skincare fridge because you're so into serums. And I'm like, okay, but idea. where would I put it so I could have like our electrician wire? Yeah. Like that's the problem. Because I don't want it to sit on the counter. Yeah. Although they're very cute. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like decor. <laughs> what skincare brands do you like? I just changed it actually. I was um, I switched over a while ago to like Nor uh, Norwex. Because it's just, you can wash it with the cloth and it's fine. But I felt like my skin was looking a little bit dull. And that was like not what I was going I'm turning for. Turning this way. Oh. And with the cloth it was yeah. dull? Okay. Like even moisturizing and all the things that I do. Okay. So I just switched, um, and I got Luma Spa from my friend, and that's been, like, really effective. Like, you said oh. my pores were tiny, and I was like, that's, they weren't two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they look so it's good. a big difference, especially on my nose, I feel like. Really? Yeah, because I get a lot of, like, blackheads on my nose, and I haven't been lately, so that's been nice. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> well, shout out to your friend. Okay, right. <laughs> so now I'm just going to set that with some translucent powder. This is Laura Mercier. And I just usually will dump it into like a foundation palette or something and just use a teeny bit. I'm just gonna go right under the eyes. And I generally like to immediately set the eye area because it can crease if you don't. It depends on the concealer I use. This creamy one never sets to a matte finish so i definitely will set it early on if i use heart shape tape sometimes i'll let it set on its own for a while okay so that was like my little baby brush i'm gonna go in with this bigger one do you get um oily or are you I more dry do. i you have do like a normal combination skin but i do get oily throughout the day okay so we'll definitely set her t-zone i think i'm going to set her all over too but i'm going to focus on the t-zone 
we're gonna do a liquid blush. I think that would be so pretty on her cheeks. So I'm gonna use NARS. This is the color Torrid. It's very peachy. Hold it up by her so you guys can see. Very peachy. This shade, I swear, was made for like redheads. It's so gorgeous. It's pretty on all skin tones though. I like it anytime I'm doing a warmer, peachy look. And I, I love to do the NARS just with my fingers. I feel like it blends the best. So we'll go ahead and just get right in there on her apples. So I'm doing this after powder because I just set like the T-zone. I'm not putting this on the T-zone. So I'm putting this cream blush on the areas of the face that are still not set with powder yet, if that makes sense. Anytime you're doing a cream or a liquid powder, you want to layer them on top of each other cream or liquid product, and then you would do your powder on top of that. So pretty. And it's so pigmented, like, I try to just squirt out half a little squirt of this, and then I only use like a fourth of it. Because you can really build it up. And it just has like the perfect finish. It has like a teeny little sheen. It's like light reflected, but it's not glittery or sparkly. She makes it more versatile. So pretty, okay. Get that off my finger. Okay, so pretty, I, I love blush so much. <laughs> okay, we are going to, I'm gonna go back in with the foundation brush and I just sort of like to top the edges of it just to help blend it into the face, make the skin look like it's glowing from within. Okay, now I'm gonna grab like a big powder brush and we're going to set the face. So when you, so on your days you don't wear a lot of makeup, like every day to day, what, what do you like to do? You do your skincare. Yes. In the morning and then my moisturizer and then that's pretty much it. Just go about my day and then nighttime wash my face again and moisturize and go to bed. I feel like that helps. Um, you don't wear a ton of makeup, yeah. it like helps your skin. So you don't do mascara every day or no. anything like that? No, my kids don't really care if I look cute. Yeah. They, they tell me I'm pretty every day. So well, you are, <laughs> and everybody, no one needs makeup, but sometimes everyone has like the one thing yeah. they like to do. When I put on the lipstick yesterday, my son was like, mom, it's a weird color, but you're still beautiful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> so cute. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, and then when you get glam, do you just do like everything? Yeah. You're like, okay, foundation, lips. Yeah. Eyebrows. I don't usually do my eyebrows. Don't your eyebrows? I, I feel like I have stuff to do my eyebrows, but when I do my eyebrows, I always feel like, who's this? That's not like, it feels weird. I yeah. So it's been interesting. Oh, I'm excited for you to see them because <laughs> we did too. the eyebrows. Um, but I really liked, you have really good natural brows. Like they're quite full on their own. So I didn't do like a really defined brow. Mm -hmm. I just used the brow powder that and drew a little problem. hairs. I'm a little heavy handed. Yeah. And that brows totally change your face. Yeah. Like if you don't have a way you like to do them right. and you go in, it would be like, oh, wow. Hello, brows. Like it's all you <laughs> see. Yeah, we went really natural. Okay, with Chelsea's face shape, I am contouring the forehead because I want to sort of shorten this area to bring in. I just love her cheekbones. So I really want the focus to be like on her big pretty eyes, her <laughs> cheekbones. And then we'll do like a nice lip color to go with this. So I'm definitely adding some bronzer on the forehead. But since she is so fair, I'm doing a lot of layers because I don't want to have like a line of contour, right? And then like her very fair foundation. So we're just kind of doing like layers of that. I like the way it looks. Sometimes I'll dust like contour on the nose just to give the life a little bit of life there. I think I am going to take a fluffy blending brush and contour her nose a little bit. So what I like to do, if I want to do a natural nose contour just to bring some definition to the center of the face but not necessarily change the shape of their nose or sculpt it, I just grab like a fluffy blending brush, I put contour on it, and then I pinch it. And so now it's skinny, right? It's not like going to flare out as wide. And I'll just gently go down the sides of the nose. And that just gives a, like a super soft wash of pigment just to bring a little definition to the face. But it is not going to be anything intense at all. Okay, 
So now that that is on, I want to go in with the Dior Highlighting Palette, and we're gonna really work into this gold color. I think that'll be super pretty. And just dust it on the face. Get a little bit on the nose. Again, whenever I wanna be precise, I just pinch my brush. You can use a smaller brush, obviously, but it's just quicker to sort of grab what you already have. Throw it in your hand, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? It's faster. Okay, I love the way that's looking. I wanna add even a little bit more of like a peachy gold color than that, so I'm gonna use the um, Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop. This one has more of a peach in it. It's like a peachy gold. So that will be pretty on the cheeks. Very glowy. Okay, and then I also like to do it on the inner corners of the eyes. So I'm just gonna grab like a little baby brush and I'm gonna use the same champagne pop. And just still a little pop of highlight right into here. So pretty, okay. All right, oh, hi, Rachel. Rachel's watching. <laughs> hi, Rachel. <laughs> she says, the blush really makes her cheeks look so defined. She has <laughs> fantastic cheeks. I just love them. They're so pretty. In fact, we probably could even go a little more bold on the cheeks. We'll <laughs> do the lips and then decide. Okay, and then Brittany says, I'm seriously in love with the brown lashes, shadow, and peachy color blush. And she says, such phenomenal colors for Chelsea. What a natural, beautiful makeup look. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Brittany. That's so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, these, I like I'm saying, I feel like this is like the palette for redheads. I just love it. It looks stunning on everybody, but I just, I really particularly love it on fair skin or redheads. No matter the skin, like a tan redhead or a fair redhead or whatever. I love it. It's so pretty. This is a great fall look too. You guys, for your Thanksgiving parties, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to add a little more now. I already know I want. I just love her cheekbones. I'm like so all about them. I'm going to put a little bit more right in the apples. And we're now we are going with liquid over powder. So just be very mindful. Like look how little I'm using. I'm just spreading on honestly just the lightest wash of color. But you can do this with the NARS product. Do it on over your foundation or just over your bare skin before you powder if you can. But if you forget and you powder your face, which I sometimes do on myself because I like on ourselves are just in a hurry. Yeah. Or if you want to add a little bit more because the formula is so fantastic because it's so thin, you, you can put it over powder. It's fine. They only, the NARS, they only have four shades. So let me show you guys. I have two. I have the pink one and this one's called Torrid. And then they have a deeper berry one, which I really want to get because I think that would be so pretty on like deeper skin tones. And they have a lighter one, but they're formulated so well, that's all you need. Like I feel like even just with these two, I can only use NARS, like I'll go a month and only use NARS on people and I can do <laughs> any look that I want. They're really good colors. Oh, and Rachel's with your boy. She said they're, they all said their mom looks so pretty. I love them. Oh, what sweet little boys. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, and then question, what do you set the whole face when do you set the whole face instead of just the T-zone? Okay. Um, I always set the T-zone almost all the time unless they're really dry. And then I actually generally set the whole face. But let me show you the difference. So I use the same powder. But when I do T-zone, I will do these two brushes, one or the other or both. And look how tiny they are, right? Like when I'm setting an area with this brush, it's so small, it's gonna get in the crevices and it's gonna pack on a good amount of powder and it's gonna really mattify it. When I go into this one, it's bigger, so it's, it's still gonna do a really good job setting, but it's fluffier, it's gonna expand over other areas of the face, it's not gonna make it as matte. And then this is what I use to set all over the face. You can see the part that's had powder that I set. This one's so fluffy that I can just dip it in my powder and then tap it. And because the bristles, I'm trying to decide where to hold it so you guys can see all of it in front of me. Because when you hold it sideways and the bristles are so fluffy, this is it's going to put on like the most sheer wash of color. So that's why I almost set everybody. So I'll go over the um, foundation and just kind of lightly like tap it on. And it's really just setting the foundation. It's like a finishing powder more so than like a mattifying powder. So I generally do that. Um, it just helps things blend. It helps the makeup last longer. 
So to answer your question more specifically, unless I'm going for a very dewy look or they're very dry, I saw everybody. Okay. Oh, hi from Australia. Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining <laughs> us from Australia. Um, okay, peaches and cream and loving your calming tutorials. Tips are amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. It's true. Aw. <laughs> well, thank you for your beautiful face. Welcome. You're just so great. Okay. I love these colors too. So let's let's head back to the eyes before we do the lips. Okay. Because the lips are really going to complete the look. But let's get into the eyes. I am going to curl a little bit more. And you're such a pro with the curling. Like, it doesn't even phase you. <laughs> you're totally not flinching. All right. Okay, go ahead and look forward. But that makes a big difference. So now, we had... So what happened with her under eyes, I didn't put any shadow under the under eyes. But when I do the top shadow, if I want a shadow under the eyes, I'll kind of smudge my shadow so that it transfers. And I feel like it's really soft and blended that way. So I really like it. Um, but I think I am going to go a little bit more under the eyes right now before I do the mascara. So I'm going to grab like a fluffy shader brush. And I'll hold this for you guys. So I'm going to go in with this color. This is called Peach Tea. I'm choosing this one because... It has more of a neutral brown undertone in comparison to these really peachy shades. And under the eyes, go ahead and look up. Under the eyes, we're always going to see that color, right? It's not like the top of the lid where she'll open her eyes and it's not as visible. So the color palette you choose is going to be the most bold, if that makes sense. And so I don't want to do a super, super peachy look under her eyes for this look in particular. I want it to look a little more natural. Okay, you can blink as much as you need to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead and look up again. So this brush that I'm using, this is a flat shader brush. This is really great for sort of buffing shadow under the eyes. And Chelsea's doing great. It this tickles. is weird. It does. It totally <laughs> tickles. You're doing fantastic. Okay, you can close and blink it stuff for a while. So that is going to look great. And then I'm going to go back into my flat brush. This is what I did the eyeliner with, a brush similar to this. I'm going to go into this peachy tart color and I'm going to have her look up and I'm just going to go right in between all her lashes and just add some color and you can totally blink as much as you need to okay. Chelsea. It will not mess me up. And I'm going to go all the way into the tear duct area just to add like a shadow under there. And then I'm going to grab a little Q-tip and clean out your, your little eyes. Okay, go ahead and look forward for me. Have a little, I don't even know what to call these. My mom always call them little eye sleepies. <laughs> like, you get them when you're asleep. Okay. All right, same thing on the other eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit more intensity to this brown. And I'm doing it with shadow. You just need to make sure the shadow you're using is eye safe. A lot of times I really love like a coal eyeliner to do this. Okay, you can close and blink. And now I'm going to buff it out um, more again with that same like light shade and the, um, the buffing brush. Okay, look up again. Just because I don't want it to be too dark at all. Look forward. Good. And then I want to add a little bit more pigment near her tear duct area. So I'm going to have you look forward and kind of this way a little bit. Good. Same thing on the other side. Perfect. Other side? Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go in. I want to do brown mascara. I really love the brown lashes on her, so I'm going to do a brown mascara. I pulled off my label, but I think this one's brown. <laughs> okay. Like I said earlier, you can still do black over brown lashes, but I just am loving this very nude look. I feel like... Um, when you do like all browns on the eyes, mm -hmm. it gives that pretty Bambi eye look, like they're very wide and open. Mm -hmm. Even though we did shadow all the way around her eyes, it helps it from being harsh. Okay, I always cut my disposable wands because, so they fit in my container, but then sometimes they're too short <laughs> to like get in the thing. Get everything. I, I try to buy the travel size mascaras. I like those for my kid. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, go ahead and look down. Perfect. I'm going to lift your lid and I'm just going to go in there with the mascara. But if you need a break, let me know. Okay. Okay, super good. All right, same thing over here. And I'm essentially focusing on her natural lashes and then the base of these false lashes just to deepen them up. Okay, you can blink. <laughs> good. Now look up for me. Good. Get these bottom ones. You doing all right? Yep. Okay. I'll just do it real quick. <laughs> okay, good. Go ahead and look forward. So now I'm just going to wiggle in the tips of the lashes just to kind of deepen those up slightly. Good job. Okay, look down again. Need to get a little closer over there. All right, look forward. It's going to be the hardest part of all the makeup for you. I can do it. Getting, I can do it. getting your eye product, <laughs> you did great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi, Elizabeth. She said, That's beautiful. You look very natural. Elizabeth Vera? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but your mom's name is Elizabeth? Yes. Yeah. That's such a pretty name. I like it. <laughs> that was like my favorite name all growing up. I'm like, I will name my daughter Elizabeth one day. <laughs> but then I didn't because I wanted a B name. <laughs> it's very pretty. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to clean that up. We'll move on to lips, and I may add some more lashes. I'm honestly on the fence. <laughs> Let's see what one looks okay. like, and then <laughs> we'll decide. But again, on like larger, bigger eyes, like the lashes kind of stand out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and open. No, oh, I was open the whole time. I'm sorry. I didn't no, know you're totally good. Close. No, let's add more, and let's add more right now. Okay. I'll do it really fast because I don't know how well you guys can see on the camera. So these are the, they're called individuals. They're little flares. These ones are not free, and they're brown, and they're quite long. So these are the double flares. So they're going to be quite a lot of lash, which I like because I can just go ahead and add, like, five real quick on the outside corner. So let me show you guys what I do. So I just put glue on a palette or on my hand, and... And I'll just take these one by one, these like little clusters. So how I like to do, I like to hold the clusters up with the knot or the, the tip of the flare facing up. And then like these tips facing down. And then I grab it with tweezers. I dip it with the glue. And then instead of coming at it like that, you're going to kind of come from above. And you're just going to set it right at the base of your nostril lash line. These are absolutely stunning so you come kind of from above just so that they have like a curled effect if that makes sense like they're they open your eyes versus like going stick straight forward and i think i'm just going to do five on each eye so i have a tutorial on my channel for this of how to do like a full eye with just like these little guys like just the little flares and no prior strip lash and it is the prettiest thing you will ever see like it turns the eyes into like these perfect little princess eyes. They're so pretty. Um, but this is kind of like the cheater way. Like I'm going to turn you a little bit. Like this is how I build a custom lash for people. Sometimes I'll put on a strip lash that's what I want but not quite there. And then I like to tweak it by adding these on top. And it's so fast. So if you guys want to try this on yourself or on your clients, I do recommend first um, doing a really natural lash like the one we did on her, the Ardell Demi Wispies, and then putting it over top. Go ahead and look forward because you cannot mess it up. It's like so easy. Look down for me. Um, because it ha when it has that band of the lashes to stick to, it's kind of like you have a guide, right? It's like your foundation of your building is the strip lash. So it's a really easy, whereas if you go to like freehand it without a strip, it's just harder, just more difficult, but very, very pretty. And I don't do these, when I'm doing makeup on clients, I'm like all about these lashes. So I'll definitely like almost all the time look forward. I will build them a custom lash, look down again. And sometimes I'll layer like this, or sometimes I will just freehand. Um, they're so pretty, but I don't always do it for my channel because it takes a little bit of time. So I don't, oh, we have someone from Germany watching. Wow, guys. Oh, she says, this is a 
Yoshi is serious B80. Hi from Germany. This is an amazing look and a beautiful model. Oh, Aww. <laughs> I know she's stunning. You guys are so sweet. That's so awesome. So fun. Um, okay, what would you suggest for sensitive eyes and mascara really irritates? Thank you. That is a great question. Um, that's a really good question because I feel like it is helpful if you know what irritates you about it. So when you find your mascara that works for you, compare it with ingredients to mascaras that you've bought in the past. Like just look on Sephora or Ulta at the labels and see like what the common ingredient is because that's helpful when it comes to buying it. Um, I, I actually haven't had anybody like whose makeup I've done that they've been really sensitive to mascaras that I couldn't use what I wanted. If I, if I did, I would just use a strip. But I'm going to ask you guys in the chat, because I know there's people in the chat right now. Um, if you guys have sensitive eyes, give Tara some suggestions, because I feel like it tends to be common things. I think somebody's asked this question in the past, and they got a lot of comments in the chat at having like similar experiences, and it seemed to be a similar mascara that worked for them. Okay, do you ever double stick lashes, put on one strip on top of another strip? Yes, and I love it. So I used to do that all the time. Um, I'm going to start lining her lips while I talk because lining is pretty simple. <laughs> I don't need to explain it. Um, okay. Yeah. I used to do that all the time. Like before there were so many great lash options, like absolutely. Like the, in fact, these two that I did today, the Demi Wispies and the regular Wispies, I used to always stack together. I loved it. Um, but then I stopped doing that as much when I found, when I started using these individual lashes more because I feel like you can just essentially get the look that you want with that. Um, and I feel like there are just more options for lashes now. Like I feel like before in the past, if you want a thick lash, you had to go with like the 30, $40 lashes to get like a thick one. But now you can get, you know, the more medium tier lashes, like house of lashes are so good. If you like the stacked lash look, house of lashes are amazing. Kiss lashes does some pretty good ones. And now Ardell has that line called Doubled Up, and they're they're essentially just stacked lashes. So but you can still stack them yourself so if you want. This is NYX liner. This is the shade Los Angeles. This is such a pretty, like it's like this perfect sort of pinky brown. So this is gonna be a really good base for me. And then I'm gonna go in with like a, a peachy lipstick. But I love when I do peachy lipsticks. I have like a bubble in my throat. Okay, I don't have water today. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what do I do? Um, when I do a peachy lipstick, I have two ways I like to do it. I either like to do like that bridal peach where it's like just very soft and ethereal looking and almost like this sheer beautiful wash of peach on the lips. Or I kind of love to do like this brown pinky peach that I do sort of like an ombre look. I make the lips look really full. I bring a lot of definition to like the lips and the face. So that's what I'm going to do on Chelsea today. I feel like it's fun to do Chelsea's makeup because she's just so naturally pretty that I can just do like a little bit. But I know she likes to play with makeup. So I feel like I can go as bold or as light as I want and she'll like it. Heard someone's phone. I didn't know it was mine. So I want to know. Okay, so we have people from different countries. I want to know what what time it is there. It was kind of hard for us to decide what time we wanted to be like live streaming. We kind of have to do what works with like our schedules. Mm -hmm. But I know it's different times everywhere, obviously. So I appreciate you guys <laughs> watching live. That's so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn you a little bit. I try to be better about like being mindful how I have the models turned so you guys can see. But if you guys, since we do live stream and you're here in the live chat, if you ever can't really see what I'm doing, like if my head gets in the way or you feel like the model's like turned kind of, um, just let us know in the chat because if I don't see it right away, um, Kelly will tell me. Okay, so I like the way that is looking. So this is like a nice medium color, sort of deep looking. On Chelsea, it's going to be pretty. So what I like to do, sorry, did I like paint your teeth? I kind of went in her mouth a little bit. Got a little overzealous. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, smudge this lip liner to diffuse it. Since it is quite a bit darker, I'm going to turn you again. <laughs> I 
I really want to see what blue looks now that you told me you did the blue <laughs> lipstick. Was it like a navy blue or like, like a, a purpley? A dark blue green. That'd be yeah, so like pretty. A, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> what were you for Halloween? Did you do something this that was year, like really we did cool the makeup wise? Peanuts um, gang. The I like my Charlie kids Brown? matched with us every year. Yeah. So, so my five year old was Charlie Brown. My seven year old was Linus. I was Lucy. My husband was Schroeder. Oh my god. Because they love each other. And then the little Aww. ones were Snoopy and Woodstock. How cute are you? You have to show me a picture after. That's adorable. <laughs> that is so Yeah, we always cute. go all out on Halloween with our matchy-matchy costumes. I love it so much. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's good. I know we do, too. And we make the dogs match and everything. It's good. It's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Okay, so this is, this is the Anastasia lip palette. So this is number one. I think this guy. So let me open it so you guys can see. Okay, so see how peachy it is? And the Anastasia colors are, I really like the formula. They're very matte and they're very opaque. So you don't need a ton. They last a long time. So I really love this color on her. I Like look how pretty it is with that blush. Like it's like they were made for each other, which is so crazy guys. Like color on the face looks so different than color on the bottom. Like look how orange that blush looks, but on her face it's like this perfect like peachy cream color. And then this lipstick is like perfect. Um, but since I did already this like deeper sort of a pink nude lip liner already, it's going to be sort of like an ombre look. Okay. And you barely need any. It's funny, like brand to brand with lipsticks. Like I pulled out a lot for her, but we are not going to need that. Okay. Kind of open slightly. <laughs> Good. <laughs> perfect. So I don't get in there with your... Should have done a little lip exfoliator before we started. <laughs> no, you're totally good. I feel like everyone's lips get dry this time of year. Do you have a, a exfoliant you like? I don't really like mine. <laughs> I have one, but I don't love it. Genox is honestly so good. It's just mixing honey with like sugar, like oh, brown sugar. Yeah. I feel like it's super gentle on the lips. And it tastes good too. And it tastes good because like with your lips, you're going to end up yeah, kind of eating your, it. yeah, it's like going to get in your mouth. Good. Yeah. I used to carry an exfoliant in my kit. I pulled it out for some reason, but I like the ones from Lush because they're edible. Because I like, and they taste good too, yeah. right? Because like on your lips, it's like, if it gets in your mouth, that's so it. gross. If it's not like made to also go in your mouth, but they had sugar scrubs and they were really good. Okay, I'm going to dip into her concealer color and just sort of outline the lips. And then we'll do a gloss. I definitely want to do a gloss today. I'm going to do, this is White Russian. So this is by Buxom. I love Buxom glosses so much. And this one's like the perfect nude. It has like a hint of peach. It really looks just like it does in the bottle when I take it out. It's sort of like this really light peach nude. And I'm going to do this just in the center of the lips. And then we'll check on the comments. So there's like a lag with the comments. So I don't always see them before like we sign off. So I'll check the comments and then we'll do the big reveal. Are you excited to see Chelsea? Yes. I'm excited too. I can only see half my face in the camera right yeah. now. Like <laughs> Our main lens is like a little bit reflective. So she's getting like a little bit of a sneak peek. But you can only see the bottom yeah, half. Oh, that's good. funny. You can't see like the top. Like my chin looks like my chin. You're like my chin is looking great. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Julie. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> let me wipe this off my hands and then I'm gonna check on the chat really quick. Okay, pull it up. Oh, hi, Ashley. Oh, 8 p.m. here. Angelique, where are you? Oh, that's good. I feel like at night, we I used to live stream at night, and I felt like for people in the U.S. that were in my time zone, it was kind of like a nice time to watch. I don't know. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Carmen's watching. I love her. <laughs> She's so sweet. She says, I love the enhanced eyes. Chelsea, you're beautiful. Aww. And never thought anything extra could be done with your beauty, right? <laughs> like, she's perfect. Canada, 2 p.m. Oh, I didn't know you were in Canada, Megan. Oh, she loves the lip color in you. So, I'm I love excited. this. I know, right? Okay. Turn it at 3 p.m. Wow, we're just all the time zones. So fun, guys. Well, thank you. Okay, um, let's flash Chelsea's before. Kelly's going to show you the before video we took. I'm going to fluff up her hair, and then you guys can see the after, and then we will show Chelsea. You remind me, Chelsea, of the actress from Riverdale. What's her, like, the super beautiful redhead. What is Cheryl. her name? 
Oh, Cheryl. I don't even, I've only seen like one episode. I don't know her name in real life. Cheryl on the show. She's very pretty and you look like her. <laughs> okay. You ready, Chelsea? Yes. Okay, here you go. Oh, it's so pretty. I like that. I like that lashes. Those are like intense but natural still. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, like, like they're kind of bold. They're oh, like dramatic. But... That's pretty. I see what you're saying about the ombre. I like yeah. it a lot. Gorgeous. Thank you. It looks so pretty. How do we feel about the brows, Chelsea? Good. You never it do that. wasn't the first thing I looked at, and it Kay. didn't scare me. That's so I'm the very goal. Excited They're about very it. natural, but like more than yes. you had. Yes. Thank you. You're it looks welcome. like a Oh, sorry. That's my fault. Might have been me. <laughs> I was talking to <laughs> No, you're totally. Oh, good. it's so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being my model. You look stunning. Thank have you. to find somewhere to go. Her husband's working. I know. Bummer. Can go. Oh, she's going to Target. You dress said. up for my kids. Yes, you look Target. beautiful. <laughs> Checking on the comments one more time. Oh, everyone's just saying you look so pretty. Thank you. Yay! Well, <laughs> Chelsea looks great. I hope you guys picked up some good tips. Um, I have other videos on my channel for um, fair skin, red hair, but then I also have. I'll try to find another tutorial and maybe link it for you guys. I have tutorials with the same color palette on medium and like a little bit medium deep skin tones and stuff like that too because it is very stunning across the board um and then it's tuesday so we will be live again on thursday and we'll see you guys then thank you <laughs>